Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. It is, sorry, there we go. It is a great day. It is, it has been a busy day and I'm at an angle, so hold on. I will try to fix that. It's been a busy day. I have been outside um, goofing off, kind of relaxing, taking it easy. Um, trying not to, I don't, I'm trying not to go stir crazy, I guess, because there's a lot to do. <laughs> there is, there is a ton, a ton to do. Man, it is bright. I don't know. There's a ton to do, and actually, this is better. I can't see you. I mean, I can't see you anyway, but this is better. It is, uh, so I, I did some cooking today with my daughter, which was amazing. And I don't know, uh, it's, I don't know if any of you do TikTok or Instagram, um, but I play a little bit on those cause they're fun or I have fun with them. And my daughter and I made, well, she woke up this morning and she's like, I want to cook and I want to cook this. And she held up her phone and she had a couple, um, a couple recipes up there. And uh, I'll try to post the picture of the finished soup at the beginning of this. So you've already seen it. So she wanted to do that and and we had uh, alternatives to everything she wanted. So we didn't have to go, um, we didn't have to go to the store, but she wanted small potatoes, like red potatoes. And we don't, we don't store red potatoes. So we didn't have any of those. And, uh, and I had yet been to the store for, God, well, it's Saturday and it was, not yesterday Friday but a week before that that I even went to the pharmacy it may have been longer than it may have been that Wednesday anyway it's been a week and a half or so and so uh, I said well alright we'll run down to the little town um, I didn't stop at any of the stores where, where we live we went out to the a little bit further out and went to a little store and they had certainly less people um, and their their proprietors are I don't know I just like them better and I and so in my head they're cleaner and less people and we go in and they had we cleaned their cart and of course my daughter is doesn't touch anything and does we don't walk anywhere near people and so we tried to do that um, I should have left her home but she really you know she's 17 almost 18 years old and She's doing really well with this social distancing that I'm making her do. And so on an early Saturday morning, in a thunderstorm no less, there there was virtually no one else. So I felt it was all right. I wouldn't take her now. Six o'clock in the evening, beautiful after beautiful evening. I'm sure everyone that's gonna get out is out right now. Uh, me, I drove down. Yeah, I drove. Of course, I just drive here to watch airplanes. So, and to read, it's a great book. If you haven't read it lately, you should do some reading in it. And uh, I don't know. So I came up here to listen to jet engines and airplanes, which there are. There's only been a few, and uh, and just kind of, I don't know, veg, and I guess make make a couple videos. But so we went and we picked up the last ingredient that we needed and what else did, did I end up getting? I think I got some country crock or something. We bought two or three items. Uh, none of them were toilet paper or milk, bread or eggs. I lied, we did buy eggs. Not that we needed them, but um, I, I want some deviled eggs. So I bought some extra eggs. And uh, 
anyway, so we went to the store, picked up two or three items, and we came home. And then uh, the suit that she, that first off, that she wanted to do something with her dad was amazing. I really like it. And my daughter is a self-proclaimed, untrained foodie. So, you know, she'll taste something and go, oh, well, this needs paprika or, you know, a little more salt or what, you know, all kinds of things. And so, and that's fine. When we go on trips or we travel somewhere, we go look for those special places that she wants to try to eat that are not, that are off grid or, or not off grid, kind of off the mainstream and stuff like that. And so when she found a recipe, I said, sure, let's go get it or let's go do it. And we got everything we needed gathered up except for the little potatoes uh, and something. Oh, we didn't have cayenne pepper. Uh, because that's not something we normally eat. I'm a red pepper kind of guy, but not cayenne. And so uh, we went and got the ingredients, and it was pretty simple. It's uh, bacon, onion, red bell pepper, sauteed together. I mean, we cooked the bacon, then we did the... And I know so some folks that watch this don't eat bacon. Pork bacon, anyway. There's other kinds of bacon you can use. Um, beef bacon is fine. I'm not a big turkey bacon fan, but anyway, whatever. Bacon, onions, and the peppers, you saute those, cook those down. Then you add in corn and potatoes, chopped potatoes. We did a quarter inch size potatoes, chunks, and some heavy cream and some chicken stock and some a couple other things. But it made a really good soup. I mean, it was really, really good. And uh, I like it when she she helps me. And of course, um, we do all the, the prep together. So we do the chopping together. You know, if we're gonna chop, like we chopped up red bell pepper, we whacked it in half and she chops one half and I chopped the other. With the potatoes, we split them in two pieces, two parts. You do these, I do these. So it's not her just cooking and it's not me just cooking. We really are cooking together. But she doesn't like it if I, if I cut the onion and she cuts the potato. She wants us to each do the same portion. I don't know. Anyway, it turned out great. And the, the moral of all that is what a wonderful opportunity to do something with somebody else today that they wanted to do that I got a blessing out of too. The blessing of that, it comes in all kinds of ways. You guys may get to do something with somebody. It, man, it can range anywhere from making a refugee bucket or a, putting toiletries in a box to cleaning the bathroom. To doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be cooking with a wonderfully beautiful daughter. Use that opportunity to bond with people, to communicate and experience the way they think and they do things and that will make you better prepared for stress and emergencies my family's not rocking over this the sickness stuff going on because as a unit we're more prepared and more more prepared which makes us more comfortable to deal with it and we enjoy being around each self, each other. And that a lot of people can't say that. So I'm very blessed. And I'm blessed that you guys are here. Thanks for letting me uh, talk to you about my day and our soup and our adventures at the store. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. And making the most out of this sour situation. Because you guys really, really can make a difference in your family and your friends by encouraging them to be more prepared. Most importantly, I want you prepared. You get prepared. Let's get ready. We can do it together.